Welcome to Farlingay High School and welcome to Psychology. My name is Sarah Curtis and I have been lucky enough to be the Head of Psychology here for the last 10 years. In the last two years, both of my children have been in your position where they've been choosing their A-level subjects. And I had three questions for them. Will you enjoy the subject? Is the subject well taught? And will I succeed in the subject? I think it's really important that you're going to enjoy the subject because you've got to study it for two years. So what is psychology for those of you that have never studied it before? Psychology is the study of behaviour. This covers everything that we do. And if you have an interest in people and why we do what we do when we do it, you will love the subject. Are you a curious person and ever wonder why we or others do the things that we do? Psychology is the, topics, is the subject for you. We cover a range of different topics in the A-level course, which covers um, a huge variety of different behaviours. So on this slide we can see that in year one we cover things like social influence, memory, attachment. We also look at some uh, types of mental illness, the psychopathology in particular, looking at phobias, depression and OCD. In year two, again, we cover a range of different topics um, and those include um, behaviours such as gender development, eating behaviour and aggression. Okay, the second question that um, I would ask yourself is, is the subject well taught? Here at Farlingay, I'm extremely lucky to have a fantastic department of really dedicated staff. We all have a wealth of experience between us and the subject is our passion and that really comes through in the way that we approach our teaching. Every class has more than one teacher at A-level, so you get a real mix of different teaching styles. The third question is whether you're going to succeed in the subject. The exam, the subject is 100% exam. Uh, there's no coursework, which is quite an important um, thing to consider for some students. In the last three years, these are our average results in psychology. As you can see, we have a 100% success rate, with 84% gaining the highest grades of A star to C, and 63% gaining A star to B. This is the result of some fantastic hard work from the students. It really is down to the students' passion for the subject and interest in the subject and their hard work that we get these results. The skills you need for psychology. You don't have to have done GCSE psychology. The only GCSE grades that we ask for is English and Maths at level five. You need to be able to write um, essay style questions in a concise way. You need to be able to evaluate evidence that is put in front of you from research. You also need to have maths and science ability within the subject. Psychology is a science and I won't lie to you, it is not an easy subject. But it is the best subject in the entire world. And one of the reasons for that is that psychology is relevant. Psychology gives you an insight into what you and other people do and why you do it. And it's a subject that you use daily. It is recognised as a science at universities. Um, and a lot of our students do go on to study psychology or psychology based degrees um, after A level. So, if you want to do a subject that is relevant to you, relevant to the people around you in your world, and particularly in 2020, um, psychology is the subject for you. Um, so I'm doing medicine at university, um, and I chose to do psychology because uh, increasingly, um, just in general, across all different careers, uh, mental health is becoming such an important factor. Um, so studying psychology obviously links into that um, and it is so applicable to so many different careers and subjects and you know law, um, the humanities, so many different areas that you can go into with psychology and it has so many transferable skills that you can apply to so many different situations. Hi, I'm Seb Moby and um, I chose to study psychology in year 10 
Uh, I'd never studied psychology before and I was really interested in, in the way that the brain works. I was curious about um, like the biopsychology and, and the processes of thoughts and behaviours. I would really recommend psychology if you haven't studied psychology before. And I'll say here at Farlingay the sixth form teachers are really nice. Um, in sixth form it's much more of a rela relaxed feeling in the classroom. Um, however, they still try to make it fun um, by giving prizes for competitions and um, they're always willing to come in early or stay behind uh, to help you out if you, if you do need it. I joined uh, Farlingay in Year 12 at the beginning and from a different high school um, and I took psychology because I have a very good interest in human behaviour and why that we do what we do and I came to the open evening which I know we can't do at the moment but Miss Curtis made the subject look really interesting and it is um, it's fascinating and all the teachers are fantastic um, and you do get a good knowledge of how human behaviour works. Um, I didn't take it at GCSE but that really doesn't make a difference. The GCSE students did not have an advantage. In the beginning they may have known a bit more terminology but after a couple of weeks it levelled out and we were all the same. Um, so you really don't need to have taken it at GCSE to do well. Um, hi I'm Grace and I'm in year 13 taking A level psychology. I decided to take A level psychology through my interest at GCSE. Um, I really enjoyed the understanding people, the verbal contact, non-verbal com communication and also the biopsychology side of it which links in directly with my biology studies as well. I'm planning to study psychology at university and hopefully continuing it at a postgraduate level at university.